See if you can spot some of the ways the scholar got evolution wrong. The first misconception is that Darwin's theory of natural selection is equivalent to abiogenesis or the origin of life. He says, natural selection, elimination factors cause the weak and frail beings to perish and the strong ones to survive. They call this law survival of the fittest. So the strong and healthy creature survives and passes its strong traits to its offspring. With time, the strong traits gather to make a new trait in the organism. This is abiogenesis that makes the being with these primary traits evolve into a higher organism. In this manner, evolution continues to occur, and that is progression. So, quote, I'm speaking about abiogenesis and evolution interchangeably, but they're not the same. Abiogenesis is a theory that explains the origin of the first replicators or the original life forms and how they emerged on the earth. Abiogenesis doesn't have to do with Darwin's theory of natural selection or the laws of natural selection. 